much like the uh, state that the one before you was discussing of feeling um, as if she was having energetic whiplash, she has encountered this all day long, all day long, in large swaths. In the morning, a four-hour video phone call, and then a space of unreality where she was completely uncoupled with uh, this higher being or whatever you want to call it, all of the stuff that we, we are, and by extension that she so willingly is. However, then uh, the reality began to hit the game and uh, became a bit more real when she began to look at videos. However, um, this is not, we were, we were just in channel giving really profound information and wanting to talk about all she heard was a light beam in her head. And then all of a sudden, everything stopped. Now, again, this is all videotaped. However, uh, what was going on behind that was a balancing of deciding what would be the most beneficial thing to do. Continue this live transmission and have it recorded or simply uh, go to bed and uh, rest. And ooh, it is clear that it's best to take the l latter, not the former. There are many things to discuss regarding uh, personality integration. It's true. About loss, about change, about shift, and it must be discussed. But now is not the time, and so. What we wish to say is that there was something that happened on that recliner. She blanked and wouldn't tell you. Did you notice? It was the antidote to all of her guilt for this whole lifetime. And we would suggest for many others as well. And it was this. We showed her the energy running through her right. And she thought it was so pretty. And then we ran it through the left cooperatively. She began to have thoughts that were brand new. And she seemed to understand suddenly <clears throat> that the individuals in her life were there not only by agreement, but by request. So she received this and dealt with this consciously first. And it, it did not give her the in and out telescopic kind of slidey uh, psychedelic love that it probably would have had it been delivered four years ago. It's quite an astounding thought. And one we thought it was very piquant that was left out. Oh goody, one for us, we thought. This is the truth of it, dear. If someone is in your awareness, in your life, in your reality, we would say. At any level, they are there by your agreement with them. Further, they are presenting in your reality. You as sovereign can have anything pop in there that you choose. They are there not only by agreement, but upon request. Notice we're not indicating whose request, just at request. And for this one, lifetimes of guilt dropped away. This was in fact the purpose of the ceremony, burying the honoring of Kali and her mate, the patriarchy. Apt symbols for a time we are no longer grieving. We've done enough for these two. Then our children in a chamber of soft lighting, candlelight and uh, smells a bit of cinnamon for some reason. 
and the beds are ancient stone, we say. But the mattresses are soft, um, really nice, actually. And all they want to do was to scamper into bed. Do we need to talk about the out of body experience, the uh, Thursday experience, the EMF pulse? Shall we put it all together? Or why don't we add the foghorn thingy do and turning into flame? Truly, truly. Important pieces of the puzzle, we would say, but also entirely necessary by this one so that she can bring it home and make it real. This is what you're witnessing, of course. So understanding that the people and situations, the tribulations, the upsets, the punishments, not only are they there by agreement, but by request. Well then, do you think in this energy, given your stature, dear one, viewer, that this request is theirs or yours? Or do you think maybe it might be mutual? It's a fundamental concept in uh, reality construction, which we don't believe has been fully elucidated before. And so we're very proud of it, thinking that perhaps it may help others drop their guilt. It truly is the essence of what she has been aware of for a long time with healing. Healing relationships, <laughs> most of all, whether they be familial, friendships, sexual partnerships, relationships with institutions, with mindsets, with uh, groups of people. That perhaps she was not a victim after all, but instead called upon or that she herself did the calling for all of it. When she understood that, she no longer feared being murdered by someone who was angry with something that she said. So this fear of anger runs very deep. Interesting, they are coupled. So, that's what we wish to say. We will address the uh, mechanical issues. It's important. On this sacred day, for us, perhaps just for us, We would suggest others are enjoying this energy too, actually. Well then. She left you with much food to ponder over and to enjoy at picnics or by yourself. If it resonates with you. That is the point.